Hello everyone, uh, this is me Ibrahim Absalam. In this video, we'll have one more exercise on relay logic connected operation. Okay, an automatic garage door is operating as following. When the open signal is received, a three phase induction motor will run to open the gate until the gate touches the open complete limit switch. The gate will Keep open until uh, keep uh, kept open until the close signal received. The motor will reverse its direction and keep working until the gate touch the close complete limit switch. Draw the power and relay logic circuit of a motor control center that can be used to fulfill the above requirement. Okay. Now, based on this case study, we can know how many inputs we have. We have two inputs, uh, one, open sign, uh, one to open the gate and the other to close the gate, and also two inputs, the open complete limit switch and close complete limit switch. So we have in total four inputs, and one output uh, is the motor, but in this motor we need to run it in both directions, one for clockwise direction and the other in counterclockwise direction to open and close the gate, so two contactors and four inputs. Before we go to our simulation software, this is means this is the two walls of the gate, and this is the gate body. Here's it, our motor. This is our motor. Okay, we have two limit switches. Uh, this one is limit switch. We can call it open complete. So once the motor is moving. Mo um, and another, the other limit switch is here, limit switch, we call it close complete. So once uh, the motor receives the open signal, the motor, the motor will run to pull the gate in this direction and the gate keep moving, keep moving until it touch the close complete limit switch. Okay. Uh, once a uh, close signal receives, the motor will, reach, uh, will change its operation and, and will move the gate until it touches the close complete limit switch. That's clear. So let's go to our software to simulate this circuit or this exercise. So let's go first to our power circuit. So we have three case supply, we have contactors, two contactors for our motor. And we have a three phase induction motor. Connect our power circuit. Okay, 180, sorry, 90 degree. 90 degree, and that's our motor, our supply. Our S T. And now star is T. Now let's go to our motor. This is this. T and that's it. R. Now we'll reverse one phase, so this one will be here, and the last one will be to the middle phase. That's our power circuit. We can control this induction motor in both directions. Let's go to our control circuit, it started from line and in neutral. We have two out from this control circuit. Uh, the contactor for open and contactor to close. Also, we have two starts, uh, two input, uh, one input to open the gate and the other input to close the gate. Uh, we have uh, interlock between these two contactors, so we'll have two normally close, and also we'll have a latch to keep running the motor, so we'll have two open circuits. Okay. Let's arrange everything. And now this is to enter lock. To open. 
Şöyle işte output. Ultram and finally the line. Okay, let's connect our everything. This is the neutral of each coil. Okay, let's call it key underscore open OP for open. And this contactor will kill it. We call K and scroll CO for close. Okay, this is the open direction, and this will be the close direction. Open for CA. I'm sorry. Okay, now. Uh, if the open contactor is operate, the closed contactor will never be operate, so we'll have our interlock here. Because if we turn on these two contactors together, we'll have short circuit supply at this point. So this one will interlock with closed contactor, and this one will be with the open contactor. Okay. Okay, this is the closed signal. And this is the open signal. Okay. We may add a feature to emergency stop or stop. So we can add a switch here. We can call it stop. Just in case, if the uh, in case of emergency, we need to stop everything. The user presses this button, everything will be stopped. Open, close. This is the latch of each contactor. Each this is each each contactor latch. Okay. Key close, key open. Okay, let's simulate it and see what we have. Run first. I press open, the motor will keep. Oh, oops, I chain. I make mistake uh, in naming. Sorry, this will be open. And this is a close contact. Okay, let's simulate. I press open. The motor will keep running, 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 running until oh, we forgot something. The open complete and close complete limit switch. So we'll use two normally close contact. This one to close. Ah, wait, I forgot to add it. So we can call it here open underscore complete and this and close underscore complete close complete and open complete. Okay, let's run. I press open the gate, the motor will keep running, 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 running until it touch the close complete limit switch. Okay. If I press close, the motor will reverse its direction and keep running until I press close complete limit switch. Okay, while I'm opening, in case of emergency, just I need to stop. I press the stop button, the motor will stop. That's it, and thank you for listening, and goodbye.